Hey everyone, uh, JT Curtis here. Um, I wanted to make an update about this on YouTube because I haven't really talked about this on YouTube yet. Um, as some of you who follow my um, Facebook account, some of my other social media pages know, my father, Jay Curtis, um, passed away about two and a half weeks ago um, on January 25th, 2018. He was 67 years old, and um, he died from ALS, um, Lou Gehrig's disease, the same ailment that affects Stephen Hawking. Uh, the reason I'm actually uh, uh, realized I hadn't really talked about it on YouTube is I was um, editing the History of Rock and Roll, the 1970s video, and um, I think some of you know he actually recorded all of his stuff for both... Um, the 1970s and the 1980s for the history of rock. Um, so I was editing in his footage with stuff me and Nick and Emily did um, and uh, was realizing I should probably let um, everybody um, in YouTube uh, know about it. I made, uh, we had a memorial for him and I made um, a tribute video um, which kind of chronicles and it shows him reading some of his poetry and a lot of the stuff he did for TV, a little bit of the history of rock and roll where he talks about Woodstock, um, which I will not upload on here because it actually uses a lot of um, music um, and I just don't want to deal with copyrights and all that stuff and Google making money off of uh, what is supposed to be a memorial video. Um, but it is on my YouTube, on my on my Facebook page. Um, I'll provide a link for it. Um, if you if you don't follow me on Facebook, it's um, facebook.com uh, slash JT Curtis Music, um, and it should be pinned. Uh, you can see. If not, just look for one where you see my dad. And he reads some of his poetry, the stuff from uh, the Sasterpiece Theater, which was a terrible show he did back in the '80s, uh, which was kind of like a a pre. Mystery Science Theater 3000, before that was even a thing, uh, they used to do, him and my Uncle Bruce Mueller, they did, um, they did uh, that uh, show in Tijuana. Well, it was in San Diego, but the transmitter was in Tijuana, and they would show the worst movies ever, which is interesting now, because when you consider, like, how, you know, with, like, the Angry Video Game Nerd and the Nostalgia Critic and Red Letter Media and everything, that it's almost... Uh, talking about bad media has almost become sort of like an art form and it's fun to know that the two of them kind of pioneered it in a way. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can really say about it. Um, I mean, you know, I, I can't really condense, um, you know, 30 something years of living with them down to, you know, a short little YouTube video. I mean, um, what you saw, I mean, he's not a bum, obviously, but what you've seen in the videos is him. He's, uh, he was total pro at video. He's the reason I make YouTube videos. He's the reason I'm, uh, able to do what it is that I do. He taught me everything. Um, and I'm really glad that I have that footage of him, uh, because it's great to just, you know, see him and, uh, be working on the history of rock and you know it's like oh okay he's there so he's not not really gone um uh i think i mentioned this in the last uh, video uh, my dad was a poet um wasn't published for most of his life until he was diagnosed with als for those of you who don't know als is a terrible disease he first noticed it in his right hand um which I think originally we thought, well, maybe that's tendonitis or something like that. And um, it just, uh, surely enough, uh, the doctor said, no, it's ALS. And uh, his hand got weaker to the point where he couldn't even use it anymore. It got in his mouth so that he couldn't speak. Um, and most of his other, he couldn't stand, couldn't get up, you know. Um, ALS, basically, for those of you who don't know, um, it's motor neuron disease, so... Um, what connects your brain to your muscles stops working um, progressively over time um, until you can't eat and you can't breathe. Um, but while this was happening, my dad chronicled this in a book of poems, uh, this one right here, In and Out of Dreaming, where he just uh, talked about living with ALS. It is a beautiful, beautiful set of poems. Um, 
um, very, very dark, but very life-affirming as well. Um, and in the tribute video, you can see him reading some of his poetry, although his voice is going at that point. Um, that's one uh, book that he put out. And then in the last couple of months of his life, when he was pretty much down to using an iPad and pretty much typing with one finger, and this is like the only thing he could really do because his other hand was gone, he put out, he published another book of poems over uh, Christmas and um, called Flaws in the Road, this one right here. And this one chronicles uh, not just ALS, but also a lot of stuff he's written over the years. Um, I would ask my followers, um, that both of these books are available on Amazon, In Out of Dreaming and Flaws in the Road by Jay Curtis. Um, if you can uh, purchase them on Amazon and uh, contribute to his work. And the proceeds actually go to Mac Angels, which is an organization that um, helps uh, families with ALS. Um, so it would definitely be helpful. Uh, sorry, I'm not in, obviously, the greatest uh, talking mode while I'm talking about all this. Um, um, and uh, as for, I got him in the history of rock and roll, so you'll see him again uh, in that. And uh, I don't know what else I can say. Um, just, um, you know, love you, Dad. Um Wish there was more I could have done for you, but thank you for everything you did for me. And um, check out his tribute video on Facebook.com slash JT Curtis Music. And um, life goes on. Um, I've been back to work. I've been um, doing gigs, uh, you know, working on history of rock and roll as everybody wants me to. I know it's been a year since I put out the last one, but I've been a little busy, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, um, you gotta laugh sometimes, cause you know, um, my dad in the in the end, uh, you know, he kept his spirits as good as they could possibly be, even in the face of pain, and and his last words, which he wrote in his uh, i iPad, as um, as the end was imminent, was "Remember, I went smiling." That's the last thing he wrote in his iPad, um, and um, yeah, that's it. All you take care of yourselves. Um, we'll be rocking out soon. Um, I've got more gigs coming up. Uh, keep checking my Facebook page, uh, and you'll see History Rock and some other videos here soon. And um, much love to all of you. See you soon. Love you, Dad.